<laughs> so let's get right to it. Yeah, let's do it. We've talked all week long about the Lions and the Chiefs starting the season off. Tonight, the Chiefs are four-and-a-half-point favorites, thanks in part to the uncertainty with Travis Kelsey, the absence of Chris Jones. The line had opened at six-and-a-half for the Chiefs, obviously given to the Lions, over under 53. That's the highest of the week. I will give you the honors of the first person to either go out on a limb or go with the chalk. Right. Who do you like tonight? Chiefs hosting line. Well, it is a scary matchup, right? I mean, we, we talk about this all the time. Of course, I believe the Chiefs are, like, better in, in totality, but the Lions pose some real problems to them in the X's and O's department, right? We, we've hit it on a PFT. The Lions offensive line, no Chris Jones. Damn, the, the, that's going to be an issue. You know, I think the Chiefs are going to have to compromise, you know, a little bit of how they play and probably be extra aggressive, probably pay man-to-man. -man. Like, if I'm the Chiefs, I'm not going down to – Oh, I'm going to let Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery just bleed us out to death here and five yards here, eight yards here, five yards here, and Jared Goff and company go on a, you know, 10-play, eight-minute drive. I, 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 that would not be how I would envision the Chiefs doing it. The Chiefs do have good corners. We know that. I will also say the Lions, on top of that, this is where I, I go, this is an interesting part. Who, who are we scared of on the Lions in the pass game? That's the one thing I'm going to bring up a little bit tonight even on our pregame show. Right? I know we got Amon Ross St. Brown, but Chiefs, they do a creative thing or two to kind of slow him down. Who's the other guy that's capable of striking fear into the Chiefs defense? We know Jameer Gibbs, the running back, can be that type of guy. Where's he at in the offense? How much is he going to use him? I don't know. So, you know, I think that's an interesting angle. The other side of the ball is also interesting just because the, the, the Chiefs' offensive line we know is special. Pacheco's real at running back. Great game planning. Who's the Lions player that can get pressure or go above and beyond the scheme? It was the worst defense in football last year. Yeah, they made some improvements to the secondary. Travis Kelsey, I do believe, is going to play. Yeah, he probably won't be 100%, but you know, we've talked about it. I think we got on good info that he's heading in that direction. And I'm a believer in the, the weapons and the other receivers the Chiefs have. So... You want me to make the pick right now, or do you want to talk a little bit? Go ahead. Tell me your pick. I'm taking Chiefs here. I'm taking the Chiefs. I can't do it. I won't be able to live myself this weekend if I go out on a limb and go, well, I'm going to be cool and pick the Lions. A lot of Lions fans around. There is a lot of Lions fans, but, you know, we're in Kansas City, and it's the mother Chiefs, and it's Patrick Mahomes unveiling the, the, the banner tonight. This energy, I don't think the Lions are going to be quite ready for this bullseye on their back. I'm going to go Chiefs 35-27. Something the Chiefs are getting this year that they didn't get three years ago when they won their first Super Bowl in 50 years, a chance to have the big celebration right. because it was the pandemic with a very limited group of people in the stadium that night that they beat the Houston Texans. The team at home, the team that won the Super Bowl, has a very good track record in these games. There is a level of energy and excitement that I think is difficult for the road team to match. And the Lions are going to have to come to Kansas City at some point. You may as well get it out of the way early. You get a chance yeah, to maybe, maybe catch them by world. surprise. Right. And I, I keep going back to no Chris Jones and no Travis Kelsey. Right. How much does that change things? Does that cause me to think the Lions could win the game? And Yes, but I'm not willing to go that far. Yeah, and, and what right. I did, and before I get to that, before I get to that, we talked earlier today on PFT Live about the Chiefs, the one game where they had Patrick Mahomes and they didn't have Travis Kelsey. Yeah. December 26, 2021, Kelsey had COVID. Mahomes distributed the ball to 10 different targets with nine different players making catches. Mahomes also had no rush attempts that game because one of the things we said is, hey, without Kelsey, he's going to run around by time, and if it's not there, he's going to take off. Now, you take off against the Steelers, I think that's – there's maybe a reason why he didn't take off. Sure. The Steelers don't mess around when the quarterback becomes a running back. Mike Tomlin has them understanding you, you don't go easy on the quarterback when he takes off. But we'll see what happens tonight. If Mahomes runs more or if he distributes the ball. I think if Kelsey plays, he's probably – I mean, we know he's not 100%. How much are they going to activate him into the full passing game? Yeah, right. And, and I still hold out the possibility that we're going to find out at some point before tonight that he's come to the conclusion on his own. It's not prudent. Yeah. I want to play. Right. It's the first game of the season. It's a real Big possibility, game. sure. It's the night that I missed three years ago because we didn't have fans here for the, the hanging of the banner. But with or without him, I'm with you. Yeah. Chiefs. But 
you picked the Chiefs to cover. And what I did, we had breakfast, peel back the curtain, we had breakfast after the morning show, and I was waiting for Chris. Not that I'm complaining, because I got down there before you did. That's yeah. how it worked. Yeah. And so I said, I'm going to make use of the time. I started going through the schedule. And, I, you know, for me, what works best, I look at the game. Because we think about it and talk about it all the time. You can, you can I don't overthink need to sit down. it, over talk it. Yeah, I don't need it. to right. sit down and get a microscope and, you know, and, and, and weigh out probabilities and run numbers. You just, when you spend all your time thinking about it and talking about it, you just get a gut feeling, and I've always trusted it. So for this one, 27-23 Chiefs is the number that came to me. Yeah. That's the Lions covering by a half point right. at a four-and-a-half point spread. But I'm sticking with 27-23. It's the under, if anyone cares. Over-under, who knows? Every once in a while, we get a strong feeling over-under. And every once in a while, that Week strong feeling is Week one scary right. in that department. Yeah, you just don't know how people are going to come out of the right. gates, especially exactly. offenses. But I got 27-23, and you've got 35-27. Yep. We both like the Chiefs. I've got the Lions covering by a half point. Yo, yo, thanks for watching, homies. I appreciate it, as always. The NFL season is right around the corner. So now it's your turn to hit subscribe to Chris Sims on button. If you want to get all the training camp battles, preseason film review, playoff predictions, and much, much more, you know where to find it. It's right here. Chris Sims on button. Please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Peace out, homies. See you soon.